I am making laksa paste. Laksa paste. Quite a lot of preparation in the ingredients beforehand, such mm -hmm. as my fermented shrimp paste. This took six days to make. Um, some difficult to get ingredients like ginger, but I'm using galangal, which is part of the ginger family. Um, lemongrass, if you uh, look here, I'll show you how to make a lemongrass paste. For the shrimp paste, if you click here, I'll show you how to make fermented shrimp paste. But when, once you've got all the ingredients together, it's pretty easy. You just dump everything in and blend it and then add a bit of oil afterwards to, uh, to get the right consistency. So we're going in with the uh, rehydrated dried shrimp. Yuck! Don't like shrimp. This is a blend of spices which I toasted to make aromatic. Right, we're going to briefly cook the, uh, the spice blend to get it fragrant. It doesn't take long, just cook it until you can uh, really smell it. Just do it until you can smell it. On to the next step. The galangal, um, toasted cashews, uh, fresh Thai red long chili pepper, silicon spoon, because apparently my metal spoon scraping on stuff is annoying some people. Chopped onion. Minced garlic. The pounded lemongrass paste. I don't know if you would call it paste. Just pounded lemongrass. Oops. And the fermented shrimp paste. Yuck. Alright, we're going to blend all of that. a little bit of oil in there. It's quite dry. I'm going to put a bit of fish sauce in it. A bit more oil. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so here we have our finished laksa paste. And just when you uh, when you make laksa, you want to fry a little bit of the paste first because we do have some raw ingredients in here. And plus, when you fry it first a bit, it brings out all the flavor. And it's supposed to stay good in the fridge for a couple of weeks. So it's supposed to stay good in the fridge for a couple of weeks. There we have it, the luxa paste.